in this video i'm going to show you how to use a free app to automate your messages on whatsapp now doing business on whatsapp can be very stressful especially if you have to respond to a lot of messages and it becomes even more stressful if you are running ads and sending people to your whatsapp because you have a lot of messages to respond to and you are going to waste a lot of time replying to those messages that's why you need to automate your messages so you can free up time and attend to more important things in your business is in is here welcome to another video if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to get more customers make more sales and grow your business using social media platforms and other sales and marketing strategies then make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable your notifications so you don't miss out on any video i post on this channel now whatsapp automation is very important because you know doing business on whatsapp can be very stressful especially if you have a lot of messages coming in and piling up for you to respond to them all so that's why whatsapp automation will not only save you time but to save you the stress of replying to a whole lot of messages all you need to do is to set up auto replies for those messages you frequently get so that your auto responder can handle them while you focus on more important tasks in your business so in this video i'm going to show you how to do whatsapp automation using this free app and i'm going to show you how to set it up so you can start using this for your whatsapp marketing now let me share my screen with you so i can show you exactly how to do that so now before i show you how to set up your autoresponder i'll first of all show you how to create a custom whatsapp link right because you need to first of all type out the message you want to use in your autoresponder right so that is why you are first of all going to create a custom whatsapp link and i'm going to show you exactly how to do that now let's go to my google chrome let me open a new tab so the website you are going to go to is word.link right to create a custom whatsapp link so word.link this website will help you to create a custom whatsapp link right now you will just come over here and then you type in you select your country you type in your phone number right so let me type in my phone number all right so after typing in my phone number the next thing is for you to now write your custom message right so let's say maybe let's use a demo business so let's say we want to sell gowns right so we are going to now set up an autoresponder you know for the business so maybe you want to send people from your Facebook ads to your WhatsApp, right? And then you want to create a custom message, right? So now let's say you want to create a custom message for that ad, right? So let's just say, hello, Eunice. So just type in the custom message here. Hello, Eunice. I saw your ad on Facebook. And I'm interested, interested in one of those girls. Right? So let's just leave it as the costume message. So now you need to take note of this particular costume message because that will help you when you are setting up your autoresponder, right? So now, what I'm going to do is this. So I will not continue to come over here again. I will just simply copy this custom message, right? I'll copy it before generating the WhatsApp link. So let me copy it. And then you just click on generate my WhatsApp link to generate the link, right? Now, let me now go to my notes and save it there. Let me just go here and save it here. Let me save it here, right? Okay now let's now continue now after generating your whatsapp link right and then you've created your custom message make sure that you save that custom message somewhere for me i saved it on my note app now the next thing you're not going to do is for you to go to play store right when you go to play store and you search for auto reply auto reply okay now you will see that there are lots of WhatsApp autoresponders that they will bring out for you. A lot of suggestions they will bring out for you. Personally, I use this auto reply chat bot. Like that is what I use and it's been working for me. Like I've not had any issue with it. Some people usually complain that they used to have issue with their chat bot, but personally, I've not had any issue with my own chat bot, right? So this is actually the 
app I'll be using, the author reply chat bot. And I've already installed it on my phone because that is what I'm using, right? But what you're going to do is that you're going to just install it, right? When you install it, you now register with it. Now, I want to tell you a very important point, right? When you install this particular app and you want to sign up with the app, right? Make sure that you turn on your notification, like grant this app your notification access. That is what will make it to work for you. If you don't turn it on, it won't be able to work even if you set up everything correctly, right? So make sure that you turn on that notification access. I'm now going to open the app now. As you can see, I already have some autoresponders that are here, but I'm going to start from the beginning so I can show you the step-by-step -step on how to actually set it up. Now, remember that message that we created when we created a custom WhatsApp link, right? So I'm, I'm now going to go over to my notes to get it. So let me get that particular message. Let me copy it now. Because you need it to set up the autoresponder. Now, the next thing I also want you to do is this. Make sure that you turn on the autoresponder on. You see that it's on. Make sure that it's on. Very, very important. Before you start setting up the auto reply now the next thing you're not going to do is this you're going to tap on this plus icon here right tap on this plus icon and then you will see that it's active because i turned it on right now you're not going to select which app you want to use it for so if you want to use it for your whatsapp official app like your normal whatsapp you select this wa official right but if you want to use it for your whatsapp business you now select WhatsApp Business. If you want to use it for WhatsApp GB, you select WhatsApp GB. If you want to use it for WhatsApp OG, you select WhatsApp OG. But right now, I'm going to be using WhatsApp Official. So I'm going to leave it at WhatsApp Official. Now, the next thing is for you to now write out the received message, right? And that received message is what you are going to receive, what people are going to send to you, right? When they click on your link, right? If you want to send you a message, maybe you're running ads from your Facebook to your WhatsApp. And once they click on that, your link, it will take them to your WhatsApp. This is the message they're going to see there. And most likely, they're going to select that message and send it to you. So that is the message you're going to now put here. And remember, that is the message you use to create that, you know, WhatsApp link, right? That's the same message. And I just copied it from my notes now. So I'm going to paste it here. I've pasted it here. So that this is exactly what they are going to see when they click on my link and they will now send it to me once they send it to me my auto responder will now you know take care of everything and reply to them so basically before you even start setting up your auto responder make sure you already have a kind of conversation in your mind right conversation you you feel that your customers are going to ask you maybe the questions they're going to ask you and also what you're going to reply them because that is what will guide you when you are setting up your auto responder right so now, after putting the received message pattern, the next thing is for you to now select, you know, how you want it to be. So look at the rules. Yeah, these are the rules. So if you want it to be exact match, exact match means that you want them to send exactly what is here. But I will not recommend you actually select exact match, right? I will recommend you select content. When you select content, it means that, you know, sometimes some people might just click on that your link then they see this message they'll see add their own before they send it to you right so once you use content it means that once it contains something that is similar to this message your auto responders should still reply to them but if you just say exact match it means that if they should add something before sending the message to you the auto reply will not reply to them do you understand so that is why it's important that you select content don't select exact match let's now scroll down so what are you now going to reply them so the reply message is all about what you're not going to reply them so when they send you this message this is exactly what you're going to reply them so you have to now type in what you want your autoresponder to send to them that is the reply message so the received message is hello Eunice. i saw your ad on facebook and i'm interested in one of those gowns right remember that this is our demo business and we are using gowns as example right so now i'm going to now say thanks for indicating interest in the gown so let me say which color do you want we have blue yellow and green now you can even go further to tell them 
Reply with the word blue if you want the blue gown. Reply with the word yellow if you want the yellow gown. Reply with the word green if you want the green gown. Do you understand? So you can just go for that to tell them. Reply with the word blue if you want the blue gown. Do you understand? Then you now say, reply with the word yellow if you want the yellow gown. Reply with the word green if you want the green gown. Now, I'm not going to continue typing it. I'm just going to stop here, but you get the idea, right? You get the idea. So that is basically what you are going to do. You can decide to enable dialogue flow. So if you want it to kind of be broken down for you, like in form of a dialogue, you now select this enable dialogue flow. Just leave it like that. Don't enable it. Just leave every other thing and just keep going. Now, under multiple replies, right don't select all go with one right go with one so that once you just send it to you, the auto responder will just automatically reply them just go with one right and the next one is delay in seconds so what this basically means is this when they send you a message how long will you, you know your auto responder wait before responding to them personally i would advise you to leave it at zero seconds because you don't want them to lose interest right you want to immediately they send you that message your auto responder will reply to them so that they will just you know continue to go through the chat they will not lose interest because remember if they should get distracted and leave they might not even come back again do you understand so that's why i will advise you to leave it at zero seconds now reply to you know they have individual they have group they have both please leave it as individual right because if you say reply to groups and somebody sends a random message that contains uh, any of the rules that you put there this auto responder will reply to that message in a random group and it might be kind of embarrassing to you right so you don't want that kind of thing to happen to you so just leave it at individual so that when somebody sends you a personal chat that is when your auto responder will now respond to that person right now another one is what specific contact or group name just leave it like that don't touch any other thing don't touch any other thing under the repeat rule leave it at one right leave it at one and don't touch any other thing now after setting up everything just upon this check mark here so you can see now message rule saved successfully can you see that message rule saved successfully so that is it now the next thing you're not going to do is this. you can decide to set up another one but let us first of all try if this thing actually works right you have to test it to see if it's working now to do that you're going to tap on this hamburger icon and then you go to text reply rule right so let me just give it a name let me just write it testing rule right just any name at all then now select this so i'm not going to paste that's my you know the rule that is the message rule i created right that is the one i used to create that custom whatsapp link remember that is what people are going to send to you before your other responder will now respond to them right so i'm going to just you know paste it here and send it can you see so that shows that it's working see that it replied me immediately right so it means that this particular setup is actually working very well now to still you know test it again i'm going to now go over to my other whatsapp number right and then send another message to see if it is actually work like in real life using my whatsapp right so let me go to my whatsapp business so let me go to my whatsapp business and send a message to that my whatsapp my normal whatsapp so let me go to my whatsapp business now so now let me now Come over here and send it a message let me send the message to myself right let me see if it will work here did you see that see that it's working very well look at it here hello Eunice. i saw your ad on facebook and i'm interested in one of those gowns look at the reply here thanks for indicating interest in the gown which color do you want this is that is actually working very well did you see how it happened now that shows that the autoresponder i set up is actually working very very well all right so let us go back again to the autoresponder remember that if it's the free version you're going to be seeing ads because it's the free version right so i'm going to click on continue to app now the next thing you're going to do is this you're going to repeat the same process right to continue with the conversation now remember that we'll ask them to choose the color right they want and we told them that if it's blue type blue Reply with the word blue if you want the blue gown. Reply with the word yellow if you want the yellow gown. Remember, that is what we told them to do that time, right? Now, we are going to create another response. So, we are going to tap on this plus icon. Then, remember what we told them. Reply 
with the word blue if you want blue gown reply with the word yellow if you want yellow gown right so let us start with the first one which is what the blue gown so the the message you are expecting to receive is if they want the blue gown they should reply with the word blue so we are going to just type blue right now once you just type blue so you are expecting to receive blue from them or yellow or from them like different colors that you listed for them right so let's just start with blue now you now leave it at content the next thing you're going to do now is your reply, you know, your reply, what you want your autoresponder to send to them. So you now say, let it now say, thanks for indicating an interest in the blue gown. can even go further to tell them we have we have you know size like you now go ahead to list for them different sizes right but i'm not going to be doing that now right just come up with your own message that is suited for your business right but just go ahead to tell them you can make payments payments now To secure the gown, you now tell them pay to pay to put in your account details. So they can say, you know, first bank. You put in your account details, right? I'm not going to do that here. You can even tell them after making payment, reply with the word paid, right? And also send your screenshots, right? And then you just continue with the same process. Leave it at zero you know, seconds, under delay seconds, leave it, leave it multiple replies, just leave it at one, reply to individuals, like leave every other thing, right? And then you just select that check mark again. Remember, you're going to be seen ads because it's, you're using the free version, right? You're going to be seen ads, so don't be surprised. Then I'm going to close the ad and then they will tell me message rule, you know, saved successfully. So it has been saved. So have you seen how it, it works? So you can just go ahead to do for the other colors. We did for blue now. So you can go ahead to do for the yellow color. You can go ahead to do for, you know, other colors. Do you understand? So that way your other responder will be responding for you. You don't have to be online, like doing everything by yourself. Because if you get like 200 messages in a day, like imagine you replying 200 messages in a day, like that would be very, very exhausting for you. In fact, you may not even be able to reply to all of them. Do you understand? So with this other responder, it will be easier for you to save you time. So basically, it's when somebody has made a purchase that you can now like follow up with the order and then, you know, send their order for, you know, to them. And that will make life very much easier for you. Instead of you replying to a lot of messages. Yes, WhatsApp automation is great for your business. But if you are not constantly generating leads and sending traffic to your WhatsApp, then WhatsApp automation won't do you any good. That's why I created this video on the screen right now to show you the best way to run Facebook ads to send traffic to your WhatsApp. So click on this video on the screen right now to watch this video. And if you found this video helpful, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Then enable your notifications so you don't miss out on any video I post on this channel. See you next time. Bye.